Oh, sorry, I'm not talking to you. So what are you doing then? But what are you here for then? If not to speak? What's the point? What's fascism? You can go and talk to what? someone. What's fascism? You're here, for, you say fuck free speech, fascism. Well, I think that says it all, right? I'm not talking to you. I don't What's fascism, it. Steve Ray? Hello, Crafty. What's fascism? Why do they call you Crafty? Why do they call you a grifter? Why do they call you Crafty? Why do they call you a I grifter? Know, it's something you Who did funds in you? Who funds you? Something you Who did. Funds in you? Who funds what you? What did you do in school? Who funds you? Why do they call you Crafty? What's fascism? Define Why it. Why do they call you Crafty? Why do why do they call you a grifter? Why do they call, Why do they call you a grifter? Why do they call you crap? What are you here for? What's the point? What's the point in being here? What's the point in being here? What are you here for? What are you here for? Who funds you? What's fascism? You're useless. Get a job, Steve. Get a job. Get a job. What's your job? This isn't a job. This isn't a job. This is a waste of bloody oxygen. How are the Tories fascists? No, no, no. How are they fascists? What did you do in school? What? Why do they call you crafty? Why do they call you Why a do grifter? They call you crafty? Why do they call you a grifter? Why do they call you crafter? Aaron you Grimes? make I out. Didn't, I didn't even know who it was. Well, you did, because you've just been saying that there's some Twitter thing that you've attached to my name, so well, I never you clearly it. did. Something you did you're, in school, you're a bit school. obsessed with well, me as a child, Steve. Do you like children, well, Steve? Do you? You're a bit you obsessed with school. me at school. A bit weird. Oh, oh, oh. but you right, are. No. Look at you. How sad and pathetic to waste your life. Oh, Stood oh, out really? of here. Stood out of here. <laughs> just stop <laughs> Tories. 14 million people voted conservative 17.4 million people you. voted for me tell me why they call you crafty and we'll have a little interview as long as you tell me who funds you to stand out here uh, all day like this me. tell me why the tories what are fascists what did you do under that desk how are the tories why are you obsessed with my penis at school you creep you oh, absolute creep oh how Crafty's weird a meltdown. children when you're talking about children Children. You're talking about children. We You're like obsessed with children. Meltdown. Come on then, who's going to tell us what fascism? What's anyone going to tell us what's fascism? What's fascism? You speak now. What's fascism? What's fascism? Come on, define your T-shirt. Define your T-shirt. Stand up for you what you believe in. What's fascism? Come on, what's fascism? What's fascism? What's fascism? Define what you're standing here for. Something. Yeah, conscience. Oh, well, that's a good one. Where did you get that from? Like Hannah Montana. How pathetic. How pathetic. Come on. Crafties having a meltdown. Go on then. What's fascism? How are the Tories fascists? There's a couple of things you can talk about with fascism, but one of them is having no respect for the rule of law. Right. How do the Tories not have respect for the rule of law? Oh, uh, there's been various things about the rule of law, breaking international law. The UN, for instance, has uh, uh, expressed a certain concern. Like and what, that, though? What, what in well, particular? So, well, one thing is the refugees and how we're dealing with refugees. There are things about that that break international law. Yeah. And it is recognised by the likes of Suella Brevin because she said that she might just have to break international law. Now, that is not enough in and of itself, beginning and end, to counter fascism. But it is one thing that contributes to an idea of fascism. Uh, you can then go to another one. So, for instance, contempt for our constitution, prorogation, the debacle about that, that is indicative of that. There have been a number of different little things, all of which, any single one of them, saying it was fascism was a bit much. But this coming together of a whole bunch of things, this one, that one, this one, that one, it builds up to an image which resonates with the notion of fascism far more than it ever should in this country, because one of our proudest boats boasts is that we were integral and important in defeating fascism. So the merest whiff of us getting close to that is intolerable to many of us. We've got grandparents who fought that, and to even get close, not even, not actually there, but to even get close is deeply and profoundly offensive to many of us. But in 2019, right, the public turned around and said in response to the prorogation of Parliament, for example, that actually they were supportive of those measures because they wanted to get their oh, vote for no, Brexit no, no. What secured. What they said was that they wanted to get Brexit done. They were not making any comment upon the prorogation at all. 
Well, the reason that actually the public thought Boris Johnson was serious about getting Brexit done was because he did do this prorogation. No, he expressed repeatedly that he would, that was his aim. So are the British people fascists? Are the British people fascists? Well, did the, 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 the British people didn't lie to the Queen, so why would I say they were? Well, but you're stood out here right now saying that a party that the public voted for, 14 million of them in 2019, are fascists. So are the British people fascists? Is everyone who votes for a party individually absolutely responsible for every decision taken by that party in government? Absolutely not, but they no, voted exactly. for the prospectus that's being put forward the right now. Practice, yes, because all these prospecti are put into very broad terms, mm -hmm. you'll agree. Some of the ways of doing it are nevertheless quite obviously got a fascistic, sorry, fascistic tinge to them. Right, okay. But I mean, the, you can see why the British people would take exception to that, to being tagged with that label, Not when actually British. they've brought about the Conservative Party in a people. democratic we're, election. British people, we're British. Yeah, absolutely. You yeah. know, an awful lot of a, the awful of the British people weren't up for it in the first place. But then, even those who were, even those who were, the people that you are now talking about, yes? Yeah. They did not give uh, uh, an intimate and close list of the ways it should be gone about. There are ways and there are ways. But do you accept, though, that you guys lost and you just look like a band of sore losers? Lost. Uh, Some people no. are too fit to realise. One second, one second. In any democratic process at all, there is no decision that is ever to be considered final, inviolate, absolute, never to be changed. If it is a democracy, you always have the right to campaign for that you want. Thank you for talking to me, I do appreciate it. So there we have it, you can see that actually we're just dismissed as thick once again from Steve Bray, uh, not you, that. from Steve Bray, dismissed as being thick. No, he did say that, he did say that. Yes, he did. No, he just said that. Not this man here, Steve Bray said that, that the British people are thick. That's what you think of the British people. You lost, you lost me, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. You lost, you're a loser, a total loser. And you're gonna lose again. They think you're thick, they think you're racist, they think you're a fascist, and you're on. That's the kind of loser that we've got to stand up to. And we will. We will win. Thank you. Bye. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.